Welcome back to Power Slap Entertainment, the Powerade of animation channels. Hey Diana, what are you thinking about? Uh, it's getting pretty chilly out. I'm thinking about buying a coat. What about you? I'm thinking about how Little Wayne said, Real G's move in silence like lasagna. <clears throat> See, when he said it, I thought he implied that when lasagna was cooked, it would be soundless. I thought this for years. But then I looked up the word lasagna and I noticed that it had a silent G. Not only did Little Wayne get the upper hand on me for years, but I'm starting to think that I'm not a real G. Diana? Do you want to know what I like? Weird conversations. It's a shame though, since you have to crack through a hard shell of normal in order to get to it. I personally have a hard time conversing with interview bots, especially when meeting them for the first time. So, what what do you do for fun? Uh, I guess go to work. Cool, what do you do there? I organize pharmaceutical products by their quantum diameter. Oh god, I have no idea what that means. So, do you like oxygen? The way my brain works makes it very hard to have a normal conversation. During my transfer to university, I was talking to this guy during orientation who was incredibly serious. So, I just got done serving in the military. I lost several of my friends, but that's given me the motivation to start my own business and make a difference in society. I started selling dab bowls and making t-shirts. What's a dab bowl? You mean like this? Hey! He just kept talking. Anyways, man, ever since my mom died, it's been tough, but I've persevered. I'm not sure how I'm going to survive this. Life is hard. You should start a meme page. At the time, I didn't realize it, but I think you should start a meme page is the most disrespectful thing you could ever say to somebody after pouring their heart out. No, I'm serious, dude. If you start a meme page, you can use it to promote your product. Look, man, there's more to life than being a meme. I agree. Don't worry, I'm buff. Long story short, he gave me his business card and I told him about my YouTube channel and we never spoke again. Despite how extroverted you are, there are often going to be times where you don't know anybody. I think one of the worst feelings in the world is having your teacher say, All right, everybody, get into groups. And everyone around you facing their back towards you and slowly drifting away. For this reason, I've started introducing myself to people on the first day of class. And since I want to avoid having normal people conversations, I try to start them off by saying something interesting. This is actually how I met my friend Michael. When I asked him what his first impression of me was, this is what he said. I was in communication class. I hadn't even sat down yet. And this dude taps me in the back and yells, Hey man, do you play Fallout 4? It worked though, we became friends. I have an unspoken friendship scale that determines how strong I think our friendship will be. Basically, the more insane you are, the more likely I am to be your friend. I like to do this thing called the million dollar method. It's very simple, no matter who I'm talking to, I like to ask them, what would you do with the million dollars? Or some other stupid question. Most of the time, the people that I ask are very reasonable. Oh, I think I would invest in a bank, watch it grow over time, diversify my stock portfolio. Normal. When I asked my friend Michael this, he said, I'm thinking about buying a really cheap mansion, maybe in Antarctica. <laughs> Genius, the price of mansions is probably lower there. I know, right? My goal is to become a really eccentric millionaire. I'm going to hire a maid to watch over my mansion. And every once in a while, I wander in wearing a penguin suit. There will be no words exchanged. I will then run into the bathroom and make a bunch of whale noises. When I walk out, the sink will be flooded and I'll hand her $10,000 of hush money. I will do this until I run out of money or die. What about you? First of all, that was awesome. Me, I'd hire a flash mob, but instead of dancing, we'd throw flashbangs at people. I'm pretty sure flashbangs don't blind people, but if they do, I'll have a reserve fund for treating injuries. That, or I'd hire some random guys off the street, have them refer to me as Mr. President. And whenever someone asks me, hey, you're not the president, all my suited men say, that's what the government wants you to think. And we all run away Naruto style. What was I talking about? Weird conversations. Subscribe. <laughs> I made this video in a day.